Oh, baby. I am in such a good mood today, guys, for a number of different reasons. Number one, I got a fresh cup of coffee next to me, and that's always a good thing. Hello, camera angle. Number two, we got some elytras that we got in the last episode, along with shulker boxes, and we killed the dragon. So that is always a great thing. And, most importantly, I am off work for the next five days in a row, <laughs> uh, which is outstanding. I'm going to play a lot of Minecraft. But welcome back, everybody, to another episode here in our Minecraft Let's Play world for episode number 12. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Hopefully you're in as good of a mood as I am. I'm ready to get this recording started. What you want, boy? You got a problem? You might notice a couple of changes here. First of all, a custom sky has been added. It is the... Hold, please. The Dramatic Skies demo by The Bomb 64. The Bomb 64? Something like that? Um, pretty cool. Just a little custom sky. But I think it adds a, uh, a little atmosphere to the world, I guess. And then also, I'm playing around with the fog. Um, that's an Optifine setting that I'm kind of messing around with. I do like a little bit of fog. I think it's kind of far, though. Let me see... Let me see something real quick. Video settings, details, fog. Yes. Okay, so that's as close as we can get it. I wonder if we do that. Okay, I think I like that a little bit better. I'll have to play around with that off camera. But I want to start this video off with a little bit of building. I'm over here next to the orchard. And I've got some plans later on to build on top of that hill. That's kind of a secret project. <laughs> but we need a way up there first. So I want to build a little bridge across this river uh, leading from the orchard. So let's go ahead and kind of lay this out a little bit. Uh, it's going to be on an angle. So let's do, let's do three, three. Maybe one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. Let's see what that's doing for us. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Three, three, yes. So how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today's actually Groundhog Day. And from what I was told, the, uh, what is it, the Groundhog, he did not see his shadow. So that means that spring is right around the corner, I think. If, I think I got that right. I don't know. Um, I hope that's the case. I hate winter. I hate the cold. I cannot stand snow. I can't stand ice. I hate driving in it. I hate looking at it. It's all bad. <laughs> so if spring is right around the corner, I am all for that. Um, I think I got that right, right? Three, three, three. Okay, that should work. Um, you know, I just realized something. I don't have the materials that I need for this. And I think we're going to have to make a trip out to the Mesa, which is super, super far. Uh, yeah, I might have to fly out there. Hopefully I have enough rockets. We'll see. Oh, baby. This is actually kind of good because I want to set up a portal out here. Uh, and I did bring some obsidian. So let's go ahead and take the coordinates here. And we're going to light it and not go in. But this is the reason why we came so far out, guys. We need some terracotta. And luckily we have a shulker box, so I'll probably go ahead and fill that up before I take off. Uh, and then later on, I'm sure we'll set up a mining outpost once I get a beacon. And we'll just load up on this stuff because it is super useful. It's a great block to build with. I love me some terracotta. Hello, freaks. Let's see what you got. Anything good in here? Ooh, a sentry armor trim and ponder. Don't mind if I do. See ya. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to our bridge here. So this bridge design is actually a uh, covered bridge, which you don't really see around too much anymore, at least where I'm from. Uh, I know that like deep in the country, you'll see a lot of them. Um, but usually, you don't really see these too often. Um, and I apologize, I might sound a little bit congested. It's the next day for me, it's the next morning. I actually, uh, 
I got a, a really long sleep, probably like nine hours, which is really unusual for me. Um, I stayed up playing Fortnite with my friends, so <laughs> I was really tired. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. This is going to be an angled bridge, um, which is going to be a little bit difficult. It's going to have a little bit of challenges, but I am up for them. Let's go ahead and get this metal in. And uh, I think, whoops, I think uh, we will have a little bit of an arch as well. I just want to get the uh, uh, the layout real quick before we worry about the shape. And then after that, we will start uh, placing some blocks. Hello, stop doing that, would you? There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, something a little bit like that, I think, should do pretty good. Now, usually these bridges are flat, but I think we're going to go ahead and challenge ourselves a little bit uh, with a little bit of an angle. So we're building at an angle and we're also building uh, at, at a shape, right? So it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of difficult, but uh, let's go ahead and put in these pillars here. Do, do, do. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. That should do good. Um, so... You know, I just I just booked a vacation. Uh, speaking of days off, I have five days off in a row here, and I just booked a vacation to Vegas, um, which is somewhere that I normally travel to quite quite often, um, just because I have some family that live out there. So we typically go to Vegas just about every year. And I gotta say, um, if you guys ever get a chance to go to Vegas. It is one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Um, so I would highly recommend it. I'm so excited. One, two, three, four, five, right? Um, lots planned. One, two, three, four, five. Um, they just they just built a, a sphere out there. And I actually had a chance to mess around in creative mode. And I built a full-scale replica of it, at least the shape. And I might throw that up on the screen just so you guys can see it. Um, obviously, that was done in creative mode, but that was still kind of fun. I get a ton of building inspiration whenever I travel like that. One, two, three, four, five. I think this might be the middle. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, I get a ton of building inspiration. Whenever I travel to places I've never been, even like when I go to Vegas, I'll find a new building that I'm like, hey, that'll be super cool to build in Minecraft, right? Um, so I know we talked about building inspiration in the last episode or last couple episodes. So that, that's kind of an inspiration for me. Whenever I go traveling and I see new places and I see new builds and I'm like, hey, that looks super cool. Uh, that, that's kind of an inspiration for me. You know, I originally had these planned to be stripped, but I think I'm going to leave them for now and just see how it looks at the end of it. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a little bit of progress done here. That way you guys don't have to listen to me talk for 20 minutes. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the question is, do we love it? I think we do, at least I do. What do you guys think? It's kind of interesting, right? Um, now, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit, especially with areas like, uh, let's see, like this, right? Where it doesn't connect. But that's kind of the, uh, the challenges that we face when we're building at an angle like this. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoy it. I, I do. Um, I love the colors. Now the gold, it, it's kind of fitting the theme of the world here. I don't know if you guys you guys have catched on to the, uh, the gold and gray kind of color scheme that we've been using here and there throughout the world. Uh, that'll make sense as we start building more, uh, kind of related to the plans up here on the hill. But... 
I really like this. I know I talk about it all the time, but little builds like this really, really, um, really make the world, in my opinion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm building a tall tree. And this is a method that I've always used. It kind of works, I would say, 70% of the time. So I want to get one of those big, tall oak trees. Let's see. And not really in love with that. I don't like the shape of it. Let's try again. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with these tall trees. They're such a pain in the butt to cut down. But once you get a good one, it looks really good. Is that all the logs? I hope so. Waiting on the tree, waiting on the tree. Hurry up and despawn, you stupid leaves. Aha, there we go. Now that, that is more like it. I like that a lot. I think we're going to keep that one for sure. Love it. Beautiful. You guys let me know what you think of this bridge. I really, really enjoy how it turned out. Like I said, little things like this make me really appreciate a Minecraft world. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's built on an angle like this just makes it that much more interesting. So I encourage you guys to build on angles. I know that it's it's kind of scary for most builders and, and for most people, um, but challenge yourself. Do it. Just jump right in and I promise you, you can do it. Uh, I know this is just a little bridge, but I love it. I love how it turned out. Really interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but I want to talk about... Uh, plans for this area over here, right? So we have the orchard, we have this bridge, and what I want to do is I want to make a little pathway uh, through the woods here, underneath the trees. I think that could be really cool and really atmospheric. Uh, maybe we can get some fog involved and stuff like that. Maybe some little builds off to the side. Uh, just kind of winding through the forest, right? And what I want to do... Ooh, coal. I will mine that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to build a pathway up to the mountain. And eventually, I want to do a castle up here. I say eventually, but I think we might get to it in the next couple episodes. Um, really excited. I got some really cool ideas for up there. It's going to be really cool. Really epic. Such a pretty and beautiful area, too. All right, we got a little bit of time left here, and what I want to do is hook up the portals to the Mesa biome and the end. So I think if we do this right, we divide the coordinates by eight, and we build the portal, and because we did not enter the portal, we should be hooked up. We should be. Famous last words. All right, here we are. Let's see if we are geniuses. I think we are. I know we are. Okay, three, boom, boom. Don't make fun of my portals either, okay? I know they're not complete. I know. Uh, flint and steel, like a so. Come on in. We should see a mesa biome, hopefully. Oh, yeah. And there's a bunch of mobs, so let's go back. <laughs> and man, this is quite a ways away. I'm sure once we do a little nether hub setup, we will do maybe an ice boat road or something. That leads us out there, but let's go ahead and find the end coordinates, which should be straight west, I think. Oh no, it's actually south. So it's 0 and 193. Luckily, that's not too far away. 130, 140, 193. Beautiful. Okay, so we go there. 1, 2, 3. Boom. 1, 2. And then 1, 2. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And hopefully we are in the stronghold, I think. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm such a genius. That's right. But it is officially time to uh, grab our boy's spots. Where are you going? You in a hurry to leave? I thought we were friends. You do what I say, spots. Come with me. We're going to the orchard to plant a tree for one of our most valued supporters today. And I gotta say, you guys have been absolutely killing it with the support lately in the comments section. I just love all the love that you guys show in the comments. Uh, it really brightens up my day. Hello, Chris. Hello, Dragon Egg. 
But let's go ahead and grab a tree here. Here we go. Episode 12. This tree is going to our good friend GamerFox015, episode number 12. And GamerFox actually uh, guessed the reasoning behind the the chase, the dog name that we have at our spawn house. <laughs> uh, they guessed that uh, it was the Bengals, which is correct. Jamar Chase from the Cincinnati Bengals. Yes, I am a big Bengals fan. Who day? We're going back to the Super Bowl next year, baby. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button for some more videos. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.